me sit through by far one of the most horrible movies I have ever seen in my entire life, you unoriginal s This also leads to the shocking discovery that Jailbreak is actually a missing princess emoji from Textopolis. Through a glitch in the phone, she was able to hide her identity from everyone. No, no, don't even. I'm already sick of making that joke. But they make it through the app, but Alex, the phone's user, puts the app into the trash folder. And fortunately for us, the annoying comic relief is disposed of for at least a moment. Gene and Jailbreak bust hand out of the trash, then escape a new illegally upgraded servo bot, which was done by Smiler. Gene and his friends make it past the phone's firewall and finally make it to Dropbox, where Jailbreak can use the interface to turn Gene into a, into a meth for good. Unfortunately, this causes Gene to be sad, and along with Dropbox, he finally becomes a meh and just ends up leaving. Hand convinces Jailbreak that, like any reasonable human, that what she says and what she believes have to go hand in hand, otherwise she ends up looking being a hypocrite. So I'll give it a point there for actually having a decent point. But Jailbreak gets an idea. It's been established earlier in the movie that as a princess, she can summon birds by a whistle, which is kind of interesting, see as this kind of plays off of Disney tropes like Snow White and Cinderella. So what kind of bird does she summon? Actually, I'm not gonna lie, that's kinda clever. Like, don't get me wrong, that's that's still a product tie-in and it's very distracting. But that's if I'm completely honest, this may be the best implementation of a product placement in the whole movie. It's simple, it mocks and conforms to the classic princess trope, but in a world of a phone, it makes absolute sense for something like this to happen. So good job, Emoji Movie. You got one thing right in your whole movie. That doesn't redeem the rest of the movie, though, because we still got a lot more to go. Is it almost over? Oh, please, are you really that hyper that you want this movie to be over? Yeah. Mm. Are you always like this? My mommy says so, yeah. Really? Yeah. Yeah. That's why she makes me take Ritalin. I'm sadly not surprised by that. So Alex takes the phone to be reset due to the antics in the movie making his phone do things it's not supposed to, causing everything inside the phone's database, including Textopolis, to be reset. Smiler takes Gene to- Go mm -hmm. <laughs> sleep over there! Yes, Mr. Dog! So Smiler takes Gene to- A little longer than a few minutes later. Smiler takes Gene to be destroyed, but is taken out by hand and jailbreak just in time. In a last minute effort to save the phone, Gene suddenly regains his ability to emote multiple emotions and gets sent out on the phone to Addison, Alex's crush, making multiple faces, which prompts this reaction from her. Okay, the clips aren't available for this specific segment just yet, but the exact quote from this scene is, and I'm quoting this verbatim, a lot of emotions in one. I get it. I like that you're one of those guys who can express his feelings. End quote. So, what this movie's message is trying to convey is that if you have this super emoji that's being put out on phones being sold by corporate businesses, if you, if you conform to to the corporate, to the corporate process, and, and, and just use the right emoji, you'll, you'll win the girl 100% guarantee? You know, I want to be mad about this, but I know there's plenty more to go off of, so I'm gonna do my best to not be fixated on something like that, so... I'm just gonna... Yup, yeah, no! Fuck
anyway, no, just no. Expression is not reliant on technology. People have been able to express themselves without technology for the longest time. What you should be trying to convey is that if you are willing to go out of your way to express yourself, regardless of if emojis are in the picture or not, then you'll be able to achieve whatever you want to accomplish. But no, now this movie's got to be a sellout. This movie's got to be, got to conform to that, to that corporate business so they can make the money. <laughs> so... Just like that, Alex unplugs the phone from resetting, and which undoes everything the process was leading up to and sets things back to the way they were. Because, you know, if you've got a super emoji that can instantly make girls hot for you, who cares if your phone comes going off when it doesn't, when it's not supposed to? And everyone's finally accepted for who they are, whether they're a malfunction or not, or whether they're popular or not. Unless you're Smiler. She's not welcome anymore. Along with the other emojis who are still in that lounge, which kind of renders that entire message completely point pointless, which means there was absolutely nothing to learn from all of the- I just wasted my time, didn't I? This whole movie is just a giant advertisement that screams, if you want to be cool, you gotta buy all of our apps and emojis so you can be, quote, hip and rad with all of your friends. Forget about expressing your emotions through words and actual communication. Ain't so... That was the Emoji Movie, and by God, please don't waste your time on this thing. It's a giant commercial that only seems to make people dumber, and if anything, makes me never want to use an emoji again. It's loud, it's stupid, it goes out of its way to mock its own audience, and it's just a huge waste of, waste of time. There are plenty of other animated movies out there that can carry a much better message than this movie ever could. But, you know what? I hope you all enjoyed it, because... I sure as hell didn't. I don't even think I could look at another emoji again. Is it time to go already? Yes, you can go now. Hey, hey, do me a favor. Don't go watch any more Sony movies for a while. What? N not even Hotel Transylvania? Yeah. Actually, except for that one. You can go ahead and watch that one. Well, come on. Okay. You know, actually, now that I think about it, there was a bright side to going to see this movie. Before the movie ended up showing, there, they played a mini movie for Hotel Transylvania entitled Puppy. And to my surprise, I enjoyed this tons more than the actual movie itself. I was way more entertained. There was a lot more, well, thought put into it. And that's saying something, because I have never seen Hotel Transylvania. But because of this short, I want to go out and see it now. So, what was the difference between this mini-movie and the whole Emoji movie? Well, really, it just boils down to dedication. When you really think about it, the people who worked on Hotel Transylvania actually cared about their project. And as a result, it came out much more entertaining than something like the Emoji movie. It wasn't an advertisement or a sellout. It was something that people could actually put their heart and soul into because they believed in it. Not because they were just paid to do it. So, basically, here's what I'm trying to say to you, Sony. A as a director, not a film critic. Try again. If you really want people to love your movies, you have to put just as much love into them. You can't just throw money at something and expect it to work on its own. Hard work and passion can't be bought. Anyone can say, hey, an emoji movie might be good, but it takes true passion and dedication, however, to make something that people will remember for the rest of their lives. Well, I guess that wraps up this review. I'm the dogmatic director, and try again, Sony.